<clears throat> hey there, Twisted Sage here. Um, sun's currently 14 degrees Aquarius. Moon's 21 degrees of Libra. Um, I focus here because these are the kind of uh, road conditions I got to deal with. Um, I'm currently kind of stuck. So I have my other option. Here's my roundabout that I go. Past those trees, it kind of sinks in, gets flat. All the water holds. My two-wheel drive just isn't enough. Yes, yeah, so I spent a couple days sleeping. Figured out my uh, my fucking sewer issue. Ah, uh, I broke last night. I bent to. Uh, some melted cheese and tortillas, which didn't get me too bad, but I was doing well when I had to, um, but maybe it was the dark chocolate that got me. Um, uh, the nuts don't always um, do my gout that well either. And I'll show you the if you can kind of see the inflammation. Um, yeah, I always look to, if someone has joint problems, look to see what Saturn's doing in their chart, what's, what's squaring Saturn. Um, today I did a lot better water a little bit of them dark chocolate almonds again. Um, some salad stuff with vinaigrette. I gotta say, food's the worst addiction. Because you need some level of food, but we don't need like probably 65, 70% of our intake. Ah. Uh, I think that's where the elites are probably working towards getting the American public. And I found this kind of creepy that um, Bill Gates owns now some of the most farmland in, in the world or in the U.S. Um, I think... If my memory serves correctly, he is a Scorpio with the Aries moon. So he's a selfish soul. Obviously, he easily goes to the darker side of uh, Scorpio. Rather than choosing to ascend. Um, hmm. Yeah, that moon in Libra for me usually helps flare up. Um, my joints, um, so I had to eat enough salad to be content and not want to munch down. I thought about that too. It's like a oh, shit going back to being pothead. Well, being a pothead may be how I ended up where I am with this dis-ease, um, because eating poorly what do they say? It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So some of that shit can be fine, like, whatever, just like a line of cocaine every now and then, like, isn't going to hurt you, trash you. In the right scenario, could boast your fun. But we just over, most of us just over, over, overdo it. Sweet cereals have been a, that's one of the huge things, is cutting out sugars. Maybe it, it's the actual, the quality, quality of the sugar. Hmm. Either way, I got to get my diet straight. Otherwise, I don't have the energy to do any of the things this brilliant mind wants to accomplish. <laughs> um. Yeah, weird synchronicities have been popping up. I'm guessing it's due to Mercury retrograde. 
But I'm always looking for synchronicities, or they always show themselves to me. I don't have to be looking for them. We're definitely noticing the stillness of Earth energy. Like those shaggy juniper trees, they're vibrant with energy, but they're so still. Earth energy. Or someone with a bunch of air energy, they're wanting to go, they're wanting to move, they're wanting to move with those thoughts. And you can't see the air, you can feel the air. It is definitely paradoxical how uh, the common person will mix up the Aquarian energy for being a water sign. But then most the average person doesn't have a clue what a water sign is even about anyways. You know, what comes to mind immediately is that attachment, um, the detachment of uh, thought and air. Why does Aquarius bear all the emotions? But it has to disconnect from them. Hmm. I've been thinking a lot lately about my Cancer Moon. It's in the 11th house. I want to say always a two-way street. So how I nurture or it's my groups where I feel most nurtured through. Because your moon can be what, uh, how you nurture, but also how you receive nurturing. Let's just say, I feel like I need some nurturing. <laughs> Not needing to rely on others, but a healthy balance. Of trying to do it all your, on your own and truly leaning on people to strengthen them and yourself. Wisdom whiskers. <laughs> Surprised I have as much hair as I do. Surprised I haven't thought it all away. Um...